Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Grown Clip Bonsai for Seniors. My name is Tom Novak. Today is February 12th of 2024. It's Monday. It's 43 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius, dropping to a 31 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 1 degrees Celsius at around 1 a.m. Right now it's about 7 p.m. Thimble Bonsai. Can we do a Thimble Bonsai? Ah, oh, small. A uh, Mr. Teru Tashi. I-W-A-I, -I, I can't pronounce the last name. He is one of the best in Japan on minis and super minis. And in his book on miniatures, he does he does a thimble bonds. I think I got it over here someplace. Let me pull this out. And you can see how nice the bonsai trees he does minis and how he displays them. Nigel, if you're watching, you can get some ideas how he displays them. But uh, I wanted to show you. Let's see, here it is. This is the one he made out of a thimble. And all he does is put the legs on the thimble with some clay and you can see all the minis in the thimble and these are all porcelain and in J Japan and China these are very unique and they cost a lot of money a lot of money but he's got this is a very good book so if you want to do learn about minis and stuff he's the man you got to look at and there's also on the, the channel Bonds IQ where uh Mrs. Ono appears. She's very good. She's got a lot of minis. She's got pots and pots and pots galore like you wouldn't with all mini pots. She does a good job on that. But today I bought two Singer pots. Uh, not pots, but thimbles. There they are. You can see how small they are. But I liked it because, well, let me hold the one. You can see it's got like a, a contour here it's to hold it straight. And I just I just ground in the, the slots and drill the holes on the bottom. But those were that was one of the most difficult ones I had to drill. <laughs> or you can make uh, out of a dish. There's an old dish I picked up at the, the Dollar Tree or the thrift store. All I did was drill some holes in there. And this is the one from uh, the Chinatown where I went. And I had some trees in there, but they didn't uh, do good. And I don't know if I was lax taking care of them because they were outside in the heat, in the sun, so they might have dried out too fast and died. But what I did is I also uh, took and I made some slots in there so the water drains out. Or you can buy pots like this on Amazon or eBay or wherever you see them. But today, oh, and before I start, people want to know... Uh, Somebody want to know if I did the cuttings on the sacred fig. Well, I just put them in. I did them on, uh, I did them Sunday. So let's see if they grow. And if Jonah, if you're watching, what is it? <laughs> it's a succulent. I got three from the landscape show. But my mix today, I'm going to use a 50% a 50, 50 uh, mix of sand and peat moss. I got the, the, the torpedo sand. I'm gonna use my palm cuttings and we're gonna to try to we're gonna try and do this. You're gonna to say, Tom, how in the world are you gonna water this? I'll show you how. He's got it in his book how to water them, and Mrs. Ono does it too. And Scott, this is gonna come in handy. <laughs> Here's my palm cuttings. While they're in there, I'll have to take them out and show it to you. And what I'm going to do, I mix some soil up. Let's scrape it off the sides. And all I'm going to do, well, this is going to be the difficult part. Just put it in. Just like that. Get this one in and put it in the thimble. Now the main thing, the main thing with these little trees and a thimble or the minis is you got to keep your eye on watering them. 
because they will dry out fast, especially if you got them in, in bright sunlight. They'll dry out in no time and just wither away on you. But you can see how nice and fine the soil is. Let me put this down more so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just putting it in. I'm just using the back of the spoon that Scott gave me. Scott, this is a good one for minis. That's Scott Winter from Let's Do Bonds, eh? He's a good guy. Nigel Saunders made some nice, cool bonsai pots, minis. Can't wait till he fires them up when we see how they look. So all I'm doing is just poking it in, poking it in. You're going to save time. You're going to put some beneficial bacteria in there? Not yet, because i got to make sure the palms root. And I have a lot of success with the pomegranates because they root real good for me. And I, what I usually do is take the soft cuttings. I'm going to say, Tom, if you water from the top, it's going to all fall off. Well, not really. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it. And I'll show you as soon as I pick out a nice cutting here. Let's see if I can get this one out of the water. I got two stuck together. So the blue one is the, what did I say it was? The blue is a 17 milliliter or millimeter. So what I'm going to do, this one's going to go into there. So I'm going to have to take and cut it. Ironwood here. I just snip it right below the brain. And then all I'm going to do is just snip that off. Snip the leaf off. And then I'm going to dip it in my, I put the rooting hormone in here. And I'm just going to dip it in. And then then, Tom, you didn't have your skinny little, ah, what did I do with that skinny little thing to poke the hole in? Well, we'll just use my fork just to get a hole so we can get it in there. Just put it in. Take it out of the hormone. And just get it in, just like that. Just just tap it in there. Use the back of Scott's spoon just to get it in. Yep, they'll tip over too, so I gotta have to watch Kevin here. I can just take a little bit more, and I got all these fungus gnats here. I gotta get rid of them. I didn't buy my sticky traps this year. I often kept forgetting. So that's one. Now we'll get this guy. He'll go into the 18 uh, millimeter one. It's a little taller, but these are the ones that are growing like crazy in the basement. Take that off. I'm real careful to, to the leaf there. Right above the brain. That's your brain, that's your nodes there, that's the brain that tells it either to put out new branches or to root. And then we'll just take and put this in. Now you could probably get a thimble any place if you want to give it a try. The hardest thing on this thing was drilling it. I had to use diamond bits because it's steel. And uh, it was a hard time drilling these guys. I don't know what kind of steel it was made out of, but... And I couldn't use a drill bit. I, I, got, I just had wood drill bits. So I used three different types of bits to get this started. And get it in. There we go. And then in this other pot right here, we'll do the other cutting, but first... What I'm going to do is, all I'm going to do is put it in here. And let's see if it'll soak up the water. Be 
because with the holes in there, there we go. Just let it go in a little bit, a little bit, just like that. See that? Nice and wet. And we're going to put this one over here. Are you going to save time? You're going to put some moss on there while the moss is still hard on the ground. It doesn't look too good. There we go. Let's get that right in there, right? Nice and easy. Are you going to save time? Is this thing going to rust? I don't know. I couldn't find a porcelain one, but I'll look. Because a lot of the porcelain ones, they had real nice designs, but they were expensive. And the designs were made for you to hold a thimble like this so you can look at the flowers and stuff. But there's a lot of them with other designs where you can put it upside down and you can see the see the designs that it really doesn't make a difference how it does look because the, the, the design makes the, the thimble really good. Now on this one, I got this long one here. And I don't know how many cuttings we can get one cutting out of this. So all I'm going to do is take this off right here. Cut this. Cut this. I did have some stones lying around, but I think we can just cut this back to about here. Maybe that'll be better yet. Just stick it in. Get my steak fork. Get the hole in there. Well, I can't do it with that one. Let's use Scott's spoon on this one. This is just old soil I had, so let's see if this will root the first time. I don't remember if I dipped the other one in rooting hormone, but these things, the palms really root good, uh, take root real nice for me. So I got that in the there. Now these I'm going to have to be vigilant with. And really keep an eyeball on them and see what happens. And I'll let you know one way or the other. This one's too narrow. I'll just put this in like this. Submerse it so it gets all full of water. There we go. That'll come out nice. We'll try our pots again and put it in because I fill these little pots with water. You can see you can see it dripping, dripping right there. And we'll get this guy. Now, hey, you got no room for bonsai trees? Well, you do the minis. Why do you got to do all them big ones? Just let that sit in there. Absorb the water. Get it dripping out. And there we go. So why not give it a try? Super mini bonsai thimble bonsais why not let's try it out ah, let me wet my finger so i can bring it up to the camera a little better so you can see it there you go and then here's the other one and let's see if they take you never know hey i'm gonna try it i mean he's got so many beautiful trees in that book of his the book is called Miniature Bonsai, The Complete Guide to Super Mini Bonsai. Super Mini. So you can see in his hand how big his bonsai trees really are. Look at that. And look at these right here on the back page here. <laughs> and he also gives you trees in the book that you can use for mini bonsai also to try out. So, short video, well, a little bit long, but just something different to try. Hey, you don't have the, the space to grow bonsai trees? 
put it under the light when you sit where you sit in the kitchen and let's go from there and the pomegranates are no real, real easy for me so you take care everybody today is monday night monday night it's comedy night fibber mcgee and molly i love that show on old time radio been listening to that for three days in a row before i go to sleep i put on the, the ipad put it on it's a nice half hour show relax and listen to that and some of the old commercials so you take care, everybody. Have a good day. Cup of tea. Fibber McGee and Molly. Take care, everybody.